Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will learn how to write a simple program for a calculator using select case statements. Let's open up notepad and start writing the program. So firstly we will use VAR choice as our variable and we will use input box enter the enter your choice of operator now a is for addition s is for subtraction m is for multiplication D is for division mm, division what else I is for integer division so what exactly happens here is you don't get a double value so for example if you divide 20 by 8 you'll get only 2 as uh, the result whereas if you divide 20 by 8 in the division you'll get 2.5 I hope you understood that and we have we can use e for exponent shell and finally mod for modulus close the quotation and come back here and in case you need l case as we have done before use the l case so that even if you uh, give the input as uh, capital s you would uh, uh, the uh, output will be correct now var choice as we have done that now let's go for select case var choice case let's first use the first case that is case a so if the user or if the uh, user have inputted the value as a then it is for addition and the a value is stored in the var choice and from here this goes to the select case keyword and uh, then it reads from the VAR choice variable. So if the VAR choice is A, then it goes to case A. What happens inside case A? Before we write that, let's take two more variables in our program. So that's VAR1 equals Enter the first value C double input box enter the first value we can close it and we are two equals C double input box we are using C double as I have explained you about C double C int and all the conversion functions uh, before we are using c double so that we can take double values as well for the input to store inside the variables now if the var choice value is a then it goes to case a and what happens in case a in case a we have addition so a plus B sorry we are 1 plus we are 2 so if in case the first input that I gave is uh, for example uh, s as subtraction so I decide what I need to do first okay I'll do the subtraction 
and then the program asked for the first value so I give uh, 10 as the first value then I give uh, 5 as the second value then it goes to select case and then it selects subtraction so s so it goes to the case whichever case if for example I have taken addition then it goes to case a which I'm writing now and then it displays VAR1 plus VAR2 similarly as we write the second case you will understand so next we will write case s message box is VAR1 minus VAR2 and then case multiplication message box VAR1 multiplied by VAR2 case division message box VAR1 divided by VAR2 so it just goes with the flow case division and what else integer division okay we'll write the integer division message box so it just goes on like that so for integer division you use the other slash which I have explained you before and then comes uh, exponent case e and message box so in order to understand this you have to try writing the program again and again without errors so unless and until you keep getting the program right two or three times that's when you know that you are perfect in that particular uh, coding so maybe case mode and then message box var1 mode var2 and case else message box you have uh oh yeah you have what entered the wrong operator that's all so end select just save it save it in uh, case select calculator two dot vbs and let's try to run the program let's see what kind of error is displayed if at all error is there so it seems like there's no error as of now let's try addition you could use the VB new line in order to separate all these uh, different functions displayed here or the lines displayed here. So let's go for addition A and enter the value 5 and 6. You get 11. Let's try subtraction S 11 and 5 is 6. And then we go for uh, multiplication. 5 and 4. Uh oh. I did a mistake. Let's go for multiplication. That is M. And 5 and 4 is 20. And then let's go for division. Um, so 20 and 8 is 2.5. And let's go for integer division 20 and 8 oh again I made a mistake so that's integer division I 20 and 8 gives you 2 it doesn't give you a double value it just uh, gives you the number of times the number goes or divides the, the bigger number so the first number I mean now let's go for the final one no the exponent one e 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and uh, finally mode uh, if you divide 20 by 8 what uh oh it's 
so that is mod 20 and 8 gives you the remainder 4 so our calculator works from beginning to end it works perfectly so finally I would like to show you if at all you want to you want it to appear a little uh, you know maybe new line and you can make it this way as well you have an option this way so control s and if you keep repeating that in uh, each and every line then you can see it as you can see enter the choice of operator and it goes to the next line so if you do that in each and every point here then uh, a comes for addition subtraction multiplication so it it looks like a complete list where you can select and it looks neat so I hope you understood what I meant over here so let's uh, go back here to the program and be careful to write the program with tab keys so that uh, the program moves and in this way you will be able to uh, debug if at all there is an error it looks neat and clean so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any doubt please comment below the video you could also write to me at ketia.prodotuser at gmail.com for any queries keep sharing keep subscribing keep liking my videos share among your friends and thank you so much stay tuned